Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a quick little preparation on how to make Durga Dar at home from scratch with very simple ingredients. Now for anybody that doesn't know what Durga Dar is, it is basically a mixture of nine different ingredients, each representing the nine forms of Mother Durga. Now some people have different beliefs on what Durga Dar is. Some people believe that it is a liquid bath. Some people will also offer it when they Put their jandi flags or their flags dedicated to her into the ground and some people use it in their puja when they're doing balidan or when they're chopping coconuts during mother durga puja and another belief on what durga dar is is that it is a drink from mother durga each ingredient has a meaning associated with it and as i'm pouring it within the video and mixing everything together i will tell you guys exactly what each one means literally everybody that i asked has a different way of mixing their durga dar whether that be because their family traditions their priests or their own little traditions and what they know about Mother Durga. If there's something else that you add into your Durga Dar and you want to let me know, feel free to drop a comment down below so this way I can learn a little bit more too. And before we get into this video, I want to thank my sponsors over at Leah's Fashion and Religious House for helping me put together this video. They're the ones that handpicked all of the different ingredients to put into the Durga Dar today and they're the ones that work together with me and the ones that gifted me this awesome red kurta that you see that I'm wearing today. When you go there, you will have a wide array of different pooch items and sarjam. You will have awesome outfits such as this right here for kids, women, and men. And of course, you're gonna have great customer service, great prices, and quality items. Now before I get into mixing the Durga Dar, I wanted to mention that some of the ingredients in this recipe, including the rice, the nutmeg, the cloves, and things like that, they need to be crushed up. So you can either go ahead and take all of these ingredients together and crush them in your blender or food processor. Of course, one that is kept clean away from any meat, eggs, or alcohol. Or you can go ahead and crush up each of the ingredients individually in a mortar and pestle, or you can buy them already crushed and then mix them all together with the liquids. So I have a lota here or a vessel to mix together my Durga Dar. And inside of this lota, the first ingredient that I'm going to be putting in is some crushed white rice. And the white rice is representative of the removal of obstacles. I will then be adding in some turmeric or dye as Guyanese people know it as. And this is just turmeric powder that I'm adding in here. The turmeric is representative of the purity of the mind and whenever you make Durga Dar, usually it is a yellow color. So if you're done mixing your Durga Dar and it is not yellow enough or does not have the color that you like, then you can go ahead and keep on adding in some more turmeric at a time until you get your desired color. And the next thing that we'll want is nine cloves with those little heads attached to them still. The reason why we want the heads attached is because these cloves represent inspiration. And the reason for the heads in particular is because we want to give everything as whole as possible and we don't want to short anything within our offerings. And of course, these cloves are ones that I already crushed up and that I have. I am also sure that some people leave those nine cloves with the heads whole, but if you wanted to crush them or leave them whole, that is your own decision to make. The next ingredient that we will be adding in is some crushed nutmeg and the nutmeg is representative of victory. And the next item that I'm adding in is some crushed up camphor and camphor is representative of forgiveness. And the next item that I will be adding in is my milk and milk is representative of peace. And of course, some people mix their Durga Dar with milk as well as water, but for this recipe, I'm just using milk. The next item that I will be adding in is some honey and honey is representative of enlightenment. And I also wanted to mention that there are no proper measurements for making Durga Dar. You add in as much or as little of the ingredients as you prefer. Now, once you get all of those ingredients added into your Khalsa or your Lota, you're gonna go ahead and mix everything very well so everything's well combined. As you all can see, my Durga Dar is more of a brownish color, so I'm going to keep on adding some dye or turmeric until I get that beautiful yellow color that we know for Durga Dar. So we mixed all of those ingredients together and that was seven ingredients. We need two more ingredients to make up for the nine ingredients usually used in Durga Dar. What I like to do before adding those other two ingredients is I like to go ahead and pour my Dar into another clean container or container where I will make the offering with, and then I will put the last two ingredients. The last two ingredients are neem leaves as well as a red flower. So as for the neem leaves, I'm just going to go ahead and put two strands on the top of the container here. If you wanted to go ahead and tear up the neem leaves, you can. These neem leaves are representative of health 
and neem leaves traditionally have lots of medicinal properties and healing properties. And the last ingredient that I'm adding, as I said, is the red flower. And the red flower is representative of salvation. If you wanted to go ahead and tear up the red flower into the dar and mix it, you can do that. You can add more than one or you can just use the one like I'm doing today. And once you get all of those ingredients mixed together and prepared, this is how your Durga Dar comes together very quickly and simply. Now the reason why I'm sharing a recipe for how to make Durga Dar is because this is a very traditional item that is offered during Mother Durga Puja. Now nowadays they sell pre-made mixes at the Puja store so all you need to do is add in your milk, your honey and your water and some neem leaves and a flower, your fresh ingredients. But they have all of the dried ingredients already ground and mixed for you, making it easier. While that is all fine and dandy and it has everything that you need, it is always great to know how to do things the traditional way. Again, I want to thank my sponsors over at Leah's Fashion and Religious House for putting all of these ingredients together for me and sponsoring this awesome outfit for me to wear in this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video today, please go ahead and give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. And of course, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you all would like to see next and I'll see you all again in one of my next videos. Bye everyone.